Welcome to Binary Jazz, version four, bringing to you tidings of comfort and joy for comfort and joy. running. <laughs> uh, I am Chris, one of your three hosts, uh, Jazz Sequence on the internet, joined as always by Allison, who's Allison Plus on the internet, and Binary Gary, who's Gary in real life. I don't know why I did that the other way around, but that's how it goes. Uh, this is the first episode of season four. Count them. One, two, three, four. Four seasons it, of Binary Jazz. So can I ask, just for clarification, so we're starting season four, which means season three was 2021. Yep. Season two was 2020. Yep. Season one was 2019. Yep. The first episode was sometime around Thanksgiving 2018. Is that correct? No, the first, uh, first episode was sometime so the first episode in 2019. It was in January in 2019. Was it January? Yeah. We started talking then, about it on Twitter sometime around Thanksgiving yeah. in, in 2018. I felt like I did the first episode from a hotel, and I was up there at that hotel for Thanksgiving, but maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I remember, and I could probably go back and... Uh, I don't think I'm I was not going I wasn't to, there but, for the first episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was barefoot running. Yep. Uh, I was nervous. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No, you just don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like most things, like I've become immune to it. It's just, an, it's just a new. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually joking aside. I am really thankful for this normal conversation with you all. It just, it, it's like, it's like there's like mayhem in the world. It's like, hold on. There, there's the banner that appears above the screen. It. Totally right. normal conversation start. <laughs> Yeah, and then at the end, it'll be like forward slash totally normal conversation yeah, end right. <laughs> as we head back out into the hellscape. So, uh, Well, we did not have uh, Allison <laughs> for most of the last episode. Uh, yeah. So we didn't get to hear Allison's feedback about uh, our run through of the sharper image of the questions that she submitted that we answered. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to? Do you want to say something? <laughs> a reaction gif? I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, many a good laugh was had. Uh, I was I listening also... to that episode again. Sorry uh, to, to interrupt. I was listening to that episode again this week, uh, and uh, it, it, it. I don't know. It's that's a not not to say that like it's better without Allison because it's absolutely one hundred percent not better without Allison. But it was a pretty it was a pretty good episode. I think it was solid. I think yeah. it was solid. Um, I mean, hearing you two discuss like why why sharper image <laughs> sell sex toys is is just it was a good time. I don't know. I, <laughs> I put I actually even put off listening to it because I was just like I think this is going to be really funny. <laughs> and, I, I, <laughs> and I saved it for when I was just like I really need a pick me up, and I was like feeling lonely, and I was just like no, this is going to be the perfect conversation to pretend I'm a part of. <laughs> and and did it was it effective? Did it work? Yes, it was effective. It it uh, it delivered um, much like sharper image does. <laughs> So there, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, much like the sharper image, we <laughs> deliver uh, a group of people talking in your ear and making you feel like you're part of a, a community, even when you're not. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just stay here. So here's what's going to happen. This laptop is uh, either going to stay here, this angle, until I tire of looking at it this way, or uh, it topples to the floor and you'll get a great view as the camera plows into uh, the ground. I think a bunch of my websites just went down. Hold on. Like down? Yeah, I, down? Either would be great. Well, yeah, like 150 sites are down right now. Okay, well, you focus on that. Chris and I <laughs> over here. It's fine. Yeah. Let, let the record show that I was alerted to it and I closed Slack. <laughs> well, what you need to deal with it. No, I, look, if, if it's, I mean, I'm not the only person at the company that can deal with that. They can, I'm not, they have also a true. CTO. This is his job. This is when you're small, it's the CTO's job. When you're big, the CTO's like, wait, we had downtime? Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. What do we do? Right. <laughs> oh, look at that. Summer coming back up. I need to figure out how to mute this on my watch. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I've, I, I, uh, you said, mentioned that in Slack, and I, I feel like that was probably a conversation that was uh, funnier to just have the two dudes talking about vibrators on the sharper image. Yeah, you don't need my input on that. It was just, <laughs> <laughs> it was just, and it, not to say it was out of nowhere, but. I mean, there's a lot. It was of out of nowhere. I, it was out of nowhere for me getting the catalog and looking through it. I'm like, oh, there's a vibrator. And then going a couple pages. No, oh, there's another vibrator. And then going a couple. That is definitely catalog. a vibrator. <laughs> I mean, my hunch, if 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 we're theorizing and postulating about why, I think it's to tackle the niche market of people who can't go to or order things from things that are more explicit. And so it's safe to get a sharper image package delivered to you. That's but a lot opinion. of those places uh, deliver in nondescript boxes. Like I know that that's a big, uh, uh, that's a big feature of like uh, shopping from, for example, good vibrations. True. But what is your credit card charge to? Yeah. Uh, that's a good point. I'd have to look. <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't know people's situations. So I'm that's just fair. Like, yeah. yeah. Is that why? Like, I don't know if that's a good reason. But yeah. Like... No, I, I think that's, I think that's one of many. I have, I have wondered about this and I've, I've given it some thought since that episode. And I think that's one. I think another one um, is. Uh, well, where else oh, can you get both a vibrator and a portable Bluetooth cassette player? I mean, yeah. you know. <laughs> I was going to say, I think the second one is uh, a crime of opportunity on sharper images behalf, right? Like, like here's, here's, here's someone looking through like a high tech catalog, you know, and it's like, it, it's, it's, it's profit margin number one, right? It's, it's a, you know, and it's people that are like looking for interesting technical things. So like, this is possibly like a, a new market, you know, but it's but just why a crime not of opportunity. own it? Like why 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 be coy yeah. about it is the thing. Like they like it's to be fair, there was at least one device that was that they were not being coy about, and I applaud them for that. But the everything else they were being super coy, like this is just a personal massager, despite the There's fact still that a mall this brand in Salt Lake City? only makes vibrators. <laughs> is there still a mall in Salt Lake City? Uh yeah, there's a couple. Yeah. Is there still a sharper image in one of those malls? Doubtful. Let's just pretend for the purpose of this conversation, the answer is yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was it. That was just a leading question. Like, like you know, I mean, there, there, there are probably areas where, like, that's, that's a good source. And uh, there's probably some kind of mall policy on, like, you know, overtly sexual stuff, right? I mean, well, you can't, But they like, probably put... wouldn't carry it in the mall stores, though. I bet they, I bet they, I bet they, uh... When I worked at Radio Shack, right? This is terrible. Uh, when I was at Radio Shack, we had uh, the internet uh, had been out for, oh, you know, a few years. This was like 2004, right? 2003. And um, uh, they, like Radio Shack was figuring out, like people want to buy things on our store, at our store uh, that we don't have, but they would like to see them first. So they put this computer in the middle of the store so if somebody wanted to buy something that we didn't have, you took them over and you searched RadioShack.com yep. with them. And if RadioShack.com had it, you could still sell it to them. You got half the commission that you normally would if you sold it in-store. But for big ticket items, who cared? Um, so the uh, the thing with, um, uh, uh, with that was like, maybe from Sharper Images take, like we have this like thing in store, you know, and if we can get customers there browsing, they can still purchase from us, you know? And, and, but I can't have customers like, you know, with like screens full of vibrators in store. That's not okay. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's a branding decision, right? Yeah. At least they have good quality ones. You think? Well, I mean, like the brand names you mentioned, I was just like, oh yeah, I know. Yeah, like, Le I know Lelo but... is, Lelo is, is, is notable um the other two i'm not sure they might have been like off brand or they didn't uh -huh. they didn't advertise the brand but the lello ones they did i'm still convinced that they're not warehousing these they're just drop shipping them probably yeah that's that's for me that's the big question is do they actually own the inventory and therein will be direction as to i mean that like, might depend on whether or not like like for the ones that that they actually specifically 
listed the brand name, they probably don't have those in warehouses. They probably just get those. Ooh, but the ones or, that didn't, that were sharper image personal massagers, maybe they do. Or maybe it's just this like weird prank that the catalog people do and they don't even carry them. <laughs> They're just like, let's just see them freak out when someone finally orders one. There's only only one way to find out, and that's to order every vibrator that the sharper image has in their catalog. As long as I get that Bluetooth cassette player, that's all that. At the same <laughs> time, right, right. It's like a like pile of boxes show up. You, that's not it. That aha, no. <laughs> it's a Bluetooth cassette player. I kind of do want that now. Actually. I want Bluetooth. It makes everything. me wish. It makes me wish that I hadn't gotten rid of so many like defunct cassettes um no i also had some thoughts about bluetooth over the holidays uh do you remember like early bluetooth and it was like you would get like horrible. this earpiece it was horrible number one but then like what else could you do with it you could do the earpiece that was like really it there was like it wasn't like you couldn't do stereo audio because the quality was so bad but i had a phone that had bluetooth on it and i didn't want one of those earpieces because i didn't want to look like a nerd yeah uh, i don't know why but i didn't at the time and um or maybe just not that brand of nerd i don't know uh, but, so what did I do with my Bluetooth? There was this really cool um, Mac uh, program that um, you could like write. What did they call that? Thing? It, was, it was an automator. It was that robot thing, the script. Yeah, automate. Uh, oh, um, uh, yeah. Apple Auto script. It was, an Apple yeah. script. it was Apple script. What is in yes. Apple script? Yeah. I think, um, I think autom automator is the name of the program that you write Apple script in. So what I did with it is when I walked near my computer and the Bluetooth connected, it would unlock the screen. And when I left and it lost the Bluetooth connection, it would lock the screen. That was it. That was the Bluetooth killer feature big, on Bluetooth 1.0. big reveal. Yeah. I had so I almost, stupid headphones. Yeah. The earpieces? earpieces? Yeah. yeah. I used it with my we, flip phone. Yeah. We were talking about uh, razors too. Um, uh, we were talking about uh, razors, like the razor phone, and my kids were just mm. baffled. You know? I thought you meant like shaving. I was yeah, I like, was thinking shaving yeah. for a second. I, don't know too. I was like, wow, we really pivoted. But this is okay. uh, this is my uh, my twenty twenty two look. No, just January tenth. It just happened to catch me on a day. Yeah, I just put it on my phone. <laughs> Good reminder next year, January tenth. Have you shaved? <laughs> look. So, I made soup yesterday. That's the whole uh, conversation. I made oh. Chicken uh, noodle soup, uh, which is pretty good. And then I made um, broccoli cheese soup. Um, you made two soups better. in one day. Yeah. Well, yeah. If I made just broccoli cheese, like uh, Tyler wouldn't be really excited about it. So, um, but if I made like, you know, a non veggie soup, Katie would not be excited about it. So I, you know, some days I can say I cook. So I did two soups. Incidentally, we have like a gallon of soup. Maybe more than a gallon of soup in the fridge right now. Not probably about a gallon. I had soup for lunch. We had a bunch last night. Probably a gallon of two soups in the fridge. Um, but the broccoli cheese, I was really happy with. Like I, I that's that's going to be in rotation. Um, also, there were no egg noodles at. Um, not that I need egg noodles for broccoli cheese soup, but there were no egg noodles at the grocery store that I needed for the chicken noodle soup. So that's something. Apparently, that's that's that like. That's the phase of the pandemic we're in now. No the toilet paper rush is coming gone. No egg noodle. Or... The um, cream cheese rush has come and gone. I don't know if you all were aware of that one, but there was a run on cream cheese recently. And um, now we're at the egg noodle phase. Well, they didn't have a, yeah. I mean, speaking of shortages, uh, orange juice, there's a very slim pickings. We had to go to three different stores to get orange juice over the weekend. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. think? Yeah, that's a little uh, scary. I drink the hell out of some orange juice every day. I say it with like a like a frog in my throat. <laughs> like all that vitamin C is. I drink the hell out of orange juice. It's like my idea. Yeah, like a, a pack of orange juice a day. Sounds like you have scurvy. <laughs> <clears throat> I, perhaps I do. I don't. I, I say I don't drink it every day, but no, it's most every day. We also um, Sunday morning we went to uh, the donut house, which is our local like donut independent donut place. Um, because uh, we hadn't been for a while so holidays and craziness and um you know i uh, and they're they're very um uh strict on their mask policy so they're still open in our book um so we went and got donuts and then uh 
run ahead like half an apple further. So yesterday, oh wait, no, I guess we must've gone on Saturday if Charlotte was asking for leftovers yesterday. It doesn't matter what day it was, no one cares. Um, whatever day it was, the leftover day, Charlotte was like, I want a donut. And Ryan was like, well, we don't have a donut. There's like half an apple, apple fritter in there. And Charlotte's like, yes, I want that, but with no apples. Like, sorry, kid. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's some bad news. That's it. That's so the whole normally, uh, normally we do uh, read feedback uh, that we've gotten on the website. And um, normally that feedback is spam. Uh, I actually got an email. I deleted it. But I, I thought about it this morning, and I thought maybe I should like look at it. Um, it was a direct email; it wasn't uh, through the website, so it was just to me. Uh, so they must have found they must have found uh, because I mean I'm the maintainer on a bunch of different wherever it's hosted. I don't know where my email address is exposed, uh, but somehow they they found it, um, and it was for a service. It actually was relevant somewhat. Uh, I mean, it was you know their sales selling stuff to me. Um, but it was for uh, premium podcast production solutions is for uh, editing our podcast. Uh, and you all know that I do like, you know, I spend hours and hours and hours editing mm -hmm. our podcast for sure. Of course. Um, that's patently false. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a valuable uh, thing for us. Um, so yeah, that's why I, I deleted. But I mean, I, I does that mean that we've like made it? Like we're getting we're getting pitches for for people external. It either means we've made it, or they're like, it's it's bad. It's you bad. Need you need you need the editing. Yeah, <laughs> you need some help. And they they said okay, they didn't they didn't list the title. They said I loved your recent episode, episode one zero zero one zero 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 zero. Mm. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't list the title. And actually, that was the reason why I I wanted to go back to it because I don't even know what episode that is. <laughs> <laughs> because... I like. I, I mean, I know your email is likely the one that's out there, but I also like the idea that they just circumvented Gary and I. Like you're the decision. <laughs> like they were just like we can't even you're bother the them with this yeah business. so actually i like episode, to think that they episode... emailed me and i didn't see it and they finally got to <laughs> reply or like we're gonna go to someone that actually like you know it's has okay. some people skills so episode one zero zero one zero 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 was actually ben jazz conf oh so they it probably, so, probably okay. is our, they were our like highest... yeah you need to edit this down it's like yeah. two hours right yeah. they probably so they scraped they scraped youtube and yeah. were like yeah that's probably that's probably what it is yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they were like, okay, we scraped YouTube. We found their website. We need to see, oh, we did, we did a who is search on the domain and we contact the domain owner. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably fair. I'm glad I don't write software like that. How <laughs> miserable would that be? Like it could be beautifully architected, but at the end of the day, you're just, you yeah. know, farming people's contact info. Uh, yeah, so uh, so I guess shout out to to Podlab, whose services we will not be uh, partaking in. Um, Allison, do you have a topic for us today? I do. Lossalalia. Uh, you're gonna need to spell that for me. G L O S S O L A L I A. Oh, I know what this is. Really? Yep, I think so. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I mean, it's one of the, it's like many of my topics. I was like, well, they'll either know it or they won't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested. In, I'm interested in in hearing what Gary thinks it is. Glossolalia is well, a crappy Eric. Clapton. What is Lalia? <laughs> <laughs> That's the, like, that's the... It's when you say la, 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 you're laleying. You're la, 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 la. Glossolalia. It really, I really like the way it rolls off my tongue. I will say that. It is fun to say. And it's unlike some words where I say it and I have to, like, I'm like, I feel like as I'm saying it, like, I'm bound to, like, wreck, you know? My tongue is going to trip over itself. But this one really does flow off the tongue nicely mm -hmm. um glossolalia yeah there's that it is the it's some kind of study no it's not 
Wait. We had another topic that had part of this word in it before. Did so we? if you remember the other topic, you might stumble across this. Now I'm curious. I will not look it up for fear of getting a hint. Oh, who am I kidding like that? Well, I just no. want to know which side. Which side is the part that we've had before? Yeah, I feel like I feel like I feel like the back half should really be uh, an indicator for me as to even like what kind of thing we're speaking of. Glossolalia really. does not have anything to do with lip gloss. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't so, it though? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> it's it's a it's a literature term. I know this to be true. Glossolalia. Oh. No, maybe it's because I think of glossary and gloss. I know it's not lip gloss. Yeah. No, nope, I got nothing. Glossolalia is um, uh, uh, it it is it is language related though. Of that, I'm certain, and I don't know why. Um, it. I'm trying to like combine glossary and this like. Uh, uh, silliness of Lelia. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's probably like when you use like certain sounds to mean things. So like, like uh, onomatopoeia. There's a word for that. <laughs> Get out of here with your <laughs> with your logic definition. Yeah, stop it. I'm perfectly oh, capable of making yeah, myself Oh, yeah, we do dumb, have, Chris. we do. That's all. That's a. That's way back. That is back in 2018. Was it? So it was. It was the Lily. We were wrong. We 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 were recording in 2018. Were we? Yeah, apparently. What? It's on what? page six of our archive of our you know the back end post list. 27 page archive. Yeah. 27. Eight. No, it's only eight pages. Wait. So 2018 is in. Yeah, our first episode. Six. Our first episode was was January fourth, twenty eighteen. Okay. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. So, how is this not season five? Maybe we lost count. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should really switch back episode. <laughs> oh my freaking word! That's I mean. First off, should we just stop um, for a year. <laughs> Well, I, yeah, that's probably fair. 2020 and 2021 are the same uh, season. That's fair. Yeah. They, it's still March. Yeah. So, so the previous incarnation of part of March this word. 400 and something. The previous incarnation of part of this word was episode 100000 or episode 100,000. What's that in real numbers? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember when we used to do that as part of a gimmick we, in the beginning? We of the never show? did we never did that. <laughs> Maybe I did that in my head. We did well, we did for a while, yeah, we did. Um and uh then the show notes say we patently ignored the topic for most of the episode, instead talked about oh. job related hats, how artificial intelligence is taking over the world, um and whether Allison secretly is secretly a twin. So I feel like not much has changed. We're kind of doing the same episode. <laughs> We're still wondering whether Allison's a twin. Yes. <laughs> We're still ignoring the topic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Job hats. When we covered that with my CTO taking care of everything that's down. So, uh, yeah. Check, check, and check. We're, we're getting a lot more efficient at it, though. We're only a few minutes in. We've done all these things. Yeah. 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 We, we... Yeah, we've gotten very good at ignoring the topic right off the bat. Okay, so I can, I can, I can, I will. Why don't you, why don't you pause what, your idea? Okay. Yeah. Um, what my understanding of glossolalia, glossolalia, I think it's glossolalia, uh, is that it is a term used to describe um, the sort of uh, like speaking in tongues where like the spirit of higher body possesses you and you start speaking in gibberish. Hmm. Correct. Correct. Wow. Nice pull. Yep. The, ph the phenomenon of speaking in an unknown language, especially in religious worship. Yep. Particularly noted in like Pentecostal 
Yeah. I think I went down a rabbit hole of research at some point because like, I was like, this is weird. And then I just like got deeper and deeper and, and yeah. What, what was the term from episode 100,000? It was idioglossia. Okay. Now, now the question is, does any of us remember what idioglossia means? Yeah. yeah. And you, you do too. If you, you just read the description, why would we be wondering if Allison was a twin? Oh, is that a, is that, is that what it is? It's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's a shared language between twins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that that wasn't a reveal to either of us about what, what, uh, glossolalio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. what were you? I missed something. doesn't matter. Onward something? and upward we go. What? What did you miss? Onward. I missed something because of what Chris said didn't make sense to me, but I don't think it matters. It's okay. What did I say? I, it's gone now. It's gone now. <laughs> it's gone now. Yeah. It's gone now, but we're still here. <clears throat> we're st- for for the for the now. Yeah. Um, I already told you about my weird morning. I don't need to rehash that. Let me tell you about one particular bit of it that was just like. Like it kind of felt a little like a Stephen King chapter of like, just like day in the life kind of thing. So. Of your um, morning? What? Of, your of, morning? My, of today's morning, yes. Okay. yes. So um, uh, as, as part of this, uh, um, I went to uh, sing at the nursing home this morning and uh, we had to take the elevator. And so we were going with the activities director. And so she gets on the elevator and uh, <clears throat> she turns to talk to us and her keys fly out of her hand and f- go flinging towards the open elevator door and uh, miss everything. And there's that little channel between the elevator and the floor you're on and went right down in it without touching anything else, without making a sound. And, <laughs> and like that had the potential to be the weirdest part of my day. It was not, but that had the potential right there. I'm like, so Charlotte, my littlest three, starts crying because these keys are lost, you know? And then um, the activities director, Rose, is like looking over the edge in the crack. I mean, it's like, you know, Tyler's holding the door open. But now Charlotte's worried that the door can't close, blah, blah, blah. And it's like this little stink happening on the elevator. Uh, and the keys have, are, are gone. And Rose is like, well, I'll, I'll talk to the maintenance man and see if he can get them out. Um, and so by the time I got to the she stayed on the first floor, we went to the second floor. By the time I got to the living room at the end of the hallway, um, she was like the next elevator up with her keys in hand. So like the guy, we, apparently it was not the first request he had got to get things that have plummeted through the elevator crack. But that like, it was just like, they were gone. Like like sucked into the elevator shaft. Just like, okay, it was wild. It's wild. That does have an element of stranger things about it. I, I... <laughs> Yeah. We yeah. just started we just started watching Stranger Things, so I'm just I'm just now sort of like learning what uh what all the fuss was about. Uh <laughs> and it's not a show that we like we could realistically binge watch because it does have a very high creep factor. Um mm-hmm. but it is very, very good and is it's it's yeah, very well done. Uh and and the the keys magically disappearing down the crack of the elevator without touching anything else very much feels like i don't know weird alien creatures crawling out of walls for some reason to me (laughs) at least you didn't go back and have someone be like oh that artistic director's been gone for 50 years or something (laughs) like (laughs) yes the day's not over (laughs) (laughs) yeah that's true um yeah um I was going to say something to that point. Oh, a TV show um, I was going to recommend. Maybe you've already watched it. Have you watched the show Baskets? Nope. No, it is... but it's uh, Zach Galifianakis. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't, I've only seen bits of it. But my, um, my sister-in-law did costume design on it. Okay. Like, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, um, well, you should tell her that it's excellent. Um, <laughs> and I will pay more attention to it tonight. I'm sure when we watch an episode. Um, I don't know why. Like we finished something and I was like, oh, 
sure. This looks like it might be funny. Uh, I could go for like, it, it's like a Zach Galifianakis uh, series. And I'm like, okay, well, it's a series. So it probably can't be like too much, like, you know, terribly dirty jokes. Um, but it's not like it's a sitcom, but it's like a really weird sitcom where I like characters that um, I like different characters every week and I relate to different characters every week. Although I'm not watching it weekly. I'm assuming it came out weekly. Perhaps it didn't. Whenever it came <laughs> out, episodically, I relate to different characters in different ways. Um, which is surprising to me because like the first episode, I'm like, okay, well, this is about Zach Galifianakis as this clown, but it's not. And yeah, like every episode like changes a little bit. There's a little more information and it's like, you know, I mean, there's some like episodes that are eh, because it's just 30 minute television, but there's some episodes where I'm like, wow, that was a whole lot of character development and has me thinking about things. So what I'm not uh, going to. What streaming platform is it on? Uh, Hulu is what I'm watching it on. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Which we get with Disney plus because mm-hmm. we have to have Disney plus. There's apparently some new Disney movie called Encanto. Yep. I think. Yes. Yep. Everybody that I, I, I've heard who has seen it has said that it is enchanting. Oh, I. Okay. Everybody I except it, Gary. <laughs> I've seen like 20 minute chunks here and there because I just haven't sat down to watch it. And, uh, but it's been on a couple times in the house and I walk by and like walk by and I'm like, oh. All right, I, but I may, perhaps I would feel that way if I were to watch like the whole storyline and follow along. Um, it definitely, for the blocks that I've seen, it definitely is a Disney movie. <laughs> it is not mistakable. I, 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 I would love to spend some time thinking about what, like Disney, of course, has like their shows talking about like what makes Disney Disney. But I would like to think about that like from a, without their influence on like, what are the things that make Disney Disney? Um, I bet that I would have a bit more pessimistic approach than they would, uh, but also maybe not. I might be surprised. As a completely unbiased stockholder in Disney. God, I hate capitalism. <laughs> <sighs> we had this conversation about what were we talking about? We were talking about something at dinner and um, uh, Tyler was asking about like stock ownership. And I was like, we have some stock or I have some stock. Which I guess means we have some stock. Cause like, if I meet my untimely demise, like they'll figure it out. You know, everybody's, everybody that's in this house has a name on something. So whatever. Um, but we talk about like stocks and uh, he's like, is there anything that would like prevent you from like owning two com- competing stocks? You know, like if you mm. own like Coke, like it's a damn good question. Own Pepsi. And I'm like, no, you could own both. He's like, well, what if you were like a supplier to both companies and you knew something bad was about to happen? Like, I see where he's going. And I'm, I'm like, he's like, wouldn't that be like a, a, like a, a problem? Like, that wouldn't be like, he's like trying to define like, you know, it would be like morally incorrect to profit off of this. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but he was, he was trying to figure out how to phrase it. And I'm like, oh no, uh, interestingly enough, um, there are like protected classes of people uh, that we vote for that can use this information and make a profit. Uh, Oh man. (laughs) It's, it it was, uh, shit. uh, Kids are like, what an optimistic dinner conversation. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Like, like what was the, what was the TV show? Uh, uh, did you, did you all watch uh, Kevin can himself? Nope. No, but I heard good things. We started watching it and it starts out, I'm not going to give away much because I think you should watch it because it's, it's very clever. Um, there's a lot going on. It's very clever. Uh, and I don't mean that like in a, a dismissive sort of way. Like it, it's very clever and it's, it's really good clever. Um, but it starts off like an 80s sitcom, uh, bright colors and laugh track. And then it switches to like this like noir kind of like whatever like interaction when it's just the main character by herself and she's with her own thoughts. and like this back and forth. So the first time it happened was like a jarring shift. And uh, um, I guess what I'm going to say is I feel like that's how my dinner conversations are. It's like, it starts off and it's like, you know, 80s sitcom laugh track. And then like 
well, actually, and I start talking and then like, oh, the, you know, <laughs> lights get dark, everything gets washed out. You know? What's this show called? Kevin can fuck himself or Kevin. F himself. I'm actually not sure which it is. Kevin can, I think it's F himself. I don't know. My understanding is, is that when she's with like her sitcom husband and his friends, it's all that like typical sitcom and then she'll leave the room to go get them something or whatever. And then it'll just get dark. And she's just like, I hate him. Like <laughs> it's, it's, it's so effective. Like after the first episode, like actually paused before we started the second episode. Uh, and I'm, this was like months ago. And I'm like, damn, that's like really incredible. Like it, it, it's a, uh, it was super effective. It was, it's, it's super effective the way it's done. It's really, um, it's really, yeah, it's really enjoyable. And it, it, it actually like, uh, it makes the funny parts like seem even like more uncomfortable than they inherently are being like the sitcom style, you know, like laugh track and all, like it makes them more uncomfortable because you're just like, I want to fucking strangle all these characters. You know, <laughs> it's, it's really good. It's good. That's, it, it reminds Healthy. me, right. it, I know. it, it reminds me of, of your description of it reminds me of the too many cooks uh, thing that. Yes. Yes. That was dark. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember. I must have been when I was when I was at web dev when I don't think people were just talking about. Yeah, when people were talking about it, I think a few people had had seen it first, and so that was a twenty minutes of my life that I never got back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you think of it that way? Because I, I, I don't know. I, I like. I, I. That thing i don't know like i think about that i think about too many cooks a lot (laughs) like like, yeah it it changed me i came out of that i came out of that a different person (laughs) i was a broken man after too many cooks um (laughs) complete non sequitur have i introduced you all to my new chair um no but that is a chair yeah i uh a gift for myself for uh, the holidays. I uh, went to a thrift store, and uh, I think it was like listed for like I don't know, forty-five bucks for a chair and an uh, overstuffed ottoman. Great, and uh, and then I went to check out, and they were like, "Oh, it's twenty percent off Monday or whatever." I'm like, "What? That's a thing? I love like, it there's no happens. signs." I know. So then I'm like, uh, uh, "All right, well, let me also buy this hundred feet of rope." Cause I wanted to spend a little more at this place. Cause I don't know. It felt like, I don't know. It was like a, <laughs> whenever they do that, they're like, Oh, it's uh the blue tag sale or whatever. And you're like, Oh, okay. And then I was like, you should really tell somebody because. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perhaps you could, could, would consider like putting up some signage about that. I would have probably purchased more had I known. Um, so yeah, in the back of the van, there's a hundred foot of a uh, poly rope that, I was like, oh, I'll throw it over a tree branch and hang something for the kids to swing on. But like after looking at my tree branches, I'm like, I don't want to risk an emergency room visit right now. That's funny. My first thought was, oh, if in case you want to tie somebody to this new chair. <laughs> <laughs> I so the arms would be problematic for that. Yeah. Like well, no, it would just be it'd just be one of those cartoony, well, the, like Yeah. 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 I mean, it, well, you're not an effective <laughs> kidnapper, Gary. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's true. We got home um, from getting it and I get the ottoman out. Oh, and the best part was when we get it, like I open the back of the van and uh, I'm like, well, let me put these seats down, these be- the bench seats down to get it in. And there's a guy that like works there who's, you know, helping me get in the back of the van. He's like, you don't need to put the seats down. Like we can just, he like shimmied this thing in and it was like at a weird angle and it was shimmied in and there was a spot for all the kids. I'm like, oh, all right. So I drove home. I open the back of the van. I'm like, how the hell am I going to get this upstairs now? <laughs> You're like, I really wish I'd put the seats down. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, like, I'm not, not even like getting out of the van, but just like, what, what am I going to do? Like, even if it were easy to get out, how? So I got the ottoman and I bring it up here and set it down. And I'm like, Rhonda, can you help me with this? She's like, maybe. <laughs> so <laughs> we get out of the van, we get it in, and like the living room is directly below where I'm sitting right now. And, uh, uh, I'm and like, that's where measure. the rope comes in. You tie it to the rope and you haul it up. This... I had considered it, but there's no, I mean, the windows are even smaller up here. Hmm. Um, so I'm like, I like 
uh, I'm, she made this great decision when she was at Ikea earlier in 2021. I had to think about what year it was last year. She made this great decision when she was at Ikea at one point. She was like, they went, like they had like the 50 cent or dollar like tape measures and she bought like three of them. So there's like one in like the junk cabinet, probably one that a kid has in a bedroom somewhere. And I'm certain I must have one up here or in a toolbox or who knows what I've gotten to. Like we just, we don't have tape measures. Like we already only know where one of those three is. So whatever. Um, so I grabbed the one and measured. I'm like, all right, well, we only have one option to get it around the corner to get it up the stairs. So we got to turn on its side and like angle as we come through the door to go up the stairs. <laughs> I'm like, do you want me on top or the bottom? She's like, well, if it falls, it's going to hurt the person in the bottom. So you're going to the bottom. All right, sir. <laughs> I really love the logic there. <laughs> well, I mean, the top, you got to go backwards. So like, it's not, Yeah. you know, I don't know. There's no good way to do it. But we got it inside. We got it up the stairs. We put it up here. And then I sat down and I'm like, well, dang, I probably should have like left that in the basement and like, or like sprayed it with like some sand. I mean, it doesn't smell, but I probably like, I don't know the provenance of this chair. Like, like maybe I should have like sprayed it with like, you know, flea repellent or I don't know anything, you know, just to make sure. And, you know, I mean, I took the, the, the pillow off and it doesn't look like it's been nasty or anything, but, also, like, in hindsight, I'm like, well, if I brought an infestation, like, it's here now, so. Yeah, that's uh, the, it's already done. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that I did, because it's, I've been using it now for a week-ish, and uh, I'm infestation-free, as far as I know. As far as I know. I will pen you all a letter in Slack when I discover that I have, like, head lice or something from the chair, but. And that is glossolalia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the letter uh, written. Uh, um, all right. Well, let us turn this around. Has, has anybody seen Glossolalia? Um, been a Pentecostal service or a revival or anything like that? I've seen yes. video was, clips yeah. of, yeah. but I haven't seen in person. I went to someone's, uh, <laughs> you know, on Saturdays when you like go, <laughs> you go and sleep over and then you realize the next morning that they go to church and you're like, that's not what I signed up for. <laughs> Um, my parents never managed to pick me up before the church bit. So, <laughs> but I thought it was super weird. <laughs> like, so you went I don't know if I ever went back for another sleepover. Yeah. So. There was, um, in Jacksonville, there was a uh, twice a year, there was a, a tent revival that came through town, like two blocks from where I worked, uh, like the old style with like snakes and stuff. Um, cause of what the fuck is that logic about? Um, but there would be like the outdoor component where you'd have somebody standing with a snake and like speaking, like threatening with a snake while speaking in tongues, which turns out is very effective deterrent. Like, uh, th- like I knew that this was not for me. <laughs> yeah. Don't know who well, it's like, for, but it damn sure ain't for me. There is well, a, me, there was a, me as a non churchgoer to be thrown into that was like, there were no, there were no middle steps. So I was very like, mm. and you know, young. So I didn't really get what was going on or even the purpose of it. No one was explaining it to me. <laughs> did, did they do the snakes there? Or it was just the, the tongue. I don't remember any snakes. No. Yeah. In this, in North Carolina, not in like this neighbor, well, maybe in this neighborhood, cause they'd be quiet about it, but like, there's still the thing, like, you know, in like a lot of, uh, Southern Pentecostal where they keep like venomous snakes and the idea is they take them out and uh, you can get bit, the preacher will get bit by them and not die because uh, blah, blah, blah. But, um, uh, but often then one will die from time to time. And, uh, uh, but so there's like raids from uh, on occasion in, in like houses where there's like a church in a basement. They like leave with a bunch of venomous snakes that are being held. Like, when we're still on our uh the uh uh premium zoom which is why we haven't gotten notification so no <laughs> um i don't know that i want to end there but i did want to say that um uh there was a show on hbo that was really good for two years two seasons carnival uh and in the and this may have been what set me initially set me on the rabbit hole that on through which I discovered the meaning of the word glossolalia, um, because in their opening credit sequence, they have um, 
clips, they have like sort of archival uh, video footage. Um, and some of those clips of like, uh, like old outdoor tent evangelical church events uh, with glossolalia and, and um, you know, like where, I, whatever the term is, where like the spirit takes over your body and you're sort of convulsing. There's a different phrase yeah. for that, but it's, it's a, it's a tangentially related. Um, and then as at intercut with other things and things from the, the show, um, uh, it's a really, it's a really neat show. And then sort of the, the, the church plays sort of a tangential role in, in the, the, the overall story, um, which is why it's in the, in the intro. Um, but, uh, but uh, yeah, there's, 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 you know, there's, there's the video clips that you come across every once in a while and the, that is weird, but I've never actually seen it in person. Hmm. It was also around the time of the, um, uh, I don't know where we were with putting, like putting troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, but so the local Catholic church was protesting, um, the war. Um, and I almost killed a priest who like in the protesting crowd with a sign was like pushed into the road. Mm. I sent my brakes and like stopped. And there was a priest holding a sign in front of my car, like walked back over to the road. And, Harry. Like I'm not more. So, I mean, yes, probably, probably more for him. <laughs> probably more for him. That section of town was great. <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll cap it off there. <laughs> Just, uh, Ops question: When does this uh, trial expire? Do you know? I think it's the fifteenth. So I think the next, our next episode, it will kick us out. Oh, that's a relief. Great. Yeah, because then we don't need to do <laughs> figure out what the <laughs> way to end the show is. Uh, but apparently, the way to end the show is Gary uh, just dropping. So for everyone else, thanks for listening. See you next week. Bye. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and Stitcher. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.